We are raw ons. Welcome. What is your purpose for us? Well, the person that requested him or the requested them, please go ahead and ask their question. Greetings. Thank you for Greetings. coming. Thank you for coming. Um, the reason or the purpose of my request is to, uh, if you can tell us what you, when you were on earth and your purpose and how it is impacting today's evolution on the planet. There was more than one reason for us to be with you on your planet back then. One reason was for us to set up off-world bases for communication and travel during war times in other places. We did not want to be involved with these particular negativities and so we came to escape from them now there are other reasons your planet was very much in need of our guidance in some places so we were a very strong guidance into a positive thought process in many ways you see what we have left behind, languages and uh, thought processes that are more advanced than your own. When looking back at these stone tablets with our messages, there are still things that are there that you have not been able to understand. And so, therefore, it has not been reported what we had to say. Do you understand this? Yes, I do. What um, other purposes did you see for us? We also were to bring information to the worlds around the Egyptian population, to Machu Picchu and the Incans, the Gnostics and the Atlanteans as well. Even before your time, we became acquainted with the planet so that we may understand if we could be there in the right temperament to forward your people and not become a distraction or a negativity to the forward motion of that which was intact already. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. You were teachers, and at one point you decided to leave the planet. Um, because you, you, as you said, you were here a few times. And what made you leave the planet? What happened then? What did humanity provoke for you for your departure? It wasn't a provocation that made us leave, but the fact that they were too involved in worshiping us, and we saw that as a negativity. They would not believe what we said to them, that we were not gods, but they could only see the power that we yielded and could not hear what we had to say, but only could see the beyond, power beyond their own understanding and therefore we were gods in their eyes this provoked us well was the provocation as you say for us to leave not that they were misguided we did put them in a proper perspective before we left and said that they must honor god as he is the one God, and they called God Ra because of us, and Ra was one of us, and this collective is for his ongoing, and we could see that without us, 
they would focus on a god being and be positive in their search for spirituality beyond that which we could bring to them at this time. So therefore, I do not know if I speak as properly as I should, but they were too involved in our personages as greater than themselves to hear and understand the true message of our arrival. So we had to go and let them discover the information that we had left on their own in some ways. Is it correct to say that they used your teachings and manipulated the information um, to it create another form of teaching? Correct, but it will all come to naught because that which is incorrect will not play out for them. And that which is not true will resonate with those that have wisdom. We have loved this on the planet. Wisdom is something that can be found here, but not in great abundance at this time. But there are those that are still holding dear to spiritual concepts that will help their eyes to open and their energies be released by the truth. And if your energy is not released by the truth and you are stifled by information, move on. Yes. Are you working uh, directly right now with uh, humans? To bring yes. about the great plan? The great plan has been altered many times. So do not be too set on the words that you hear now because they are sometimes misinterpreted. But the great plan will come as it is opening and awakened. Your tablets are true. Have they been found? Not all. Will they? But there is reason for this. We have planned that these tablets not be found until they are able to be understood by your peoples. They will be. Uh, found at the appropriate times. There will be things that are released into the consciousness that will open the placings of the tablets and information that must be seen at the right time. This is part of the plan. Thank you. My last question, if I may, do you have a message for us right now, please? Move forward in your light bodies and your light understandings to move forward to a greater understanding of the one God. Remember, he is the truth and will help you to understand your purpose and mission here. Align yourself with all the belief systems that worship the one true God, for they will bring you into your personal perception of the portion of God that he wants to expose to you. Not everyone will have the same light in their eyes as far as understanding, but they will have the same light in their eyes as far as truth. Remember, there is one truth and the truth will shine through. There are many perceptions of that truth. Make sure that your perception follows your heart into the realm of Godhood. There are many rays of light that come from him. You cannot be in all of these rays of light. 
but each of you as individuals are a different ray that comes from him and must put the puzzle together as they are all parts of the truth. Does this make sense to you? Yes, very much so. Thank you so much for coming at this time. <laughs> Is there any other questions? I don't see any unless there's some in your room. Is there any in the room from Jim? No? Will has a question? We didn't hear what you say. What? We didn't hear what was said because you're so far from the mic. She asked, what is our purpose for right now? Is that correct? Yes. The reason why we have come today, our purpose for now, is to let you know that we do exist and that this information is for you and the time will come soon for revelations in many different spiritual realms to open and for enlightenment to come in different ways to those that need to speak their truth to the planet. Their truth will be heard by certain groups. As your 12 tribes of Israel, as your different Muslim and Buddhist sects, as your Catholics and Protestants, as your Confucian and Shaoisms, Shiites and many of the others. There are so many different kinds of thought processes that are similar yet different, and they will come into a unity of thought that has never happened before. They will understand one another in a way that they can unite and work together in some ways. This is advanced thinking from the one God, but he is separated all these different religions for a reason, so that they can, when they come together, unite in a way that brings freshness to the unity of the world and make it fresh and powerful and bright. Thank you. Will did have a question. Yeah, I was just making sure that Angie was heard. What? So, hoy, Yes, good thought. Yep, yep, yara. Great gratitude to you for your kind words today. Shikohora. This is our message. If there is no more questions, other truths will be spoken, I am sure. Thank you. I do have any other more questions. Very well. Much love and namaste. Thank you for sharing your time with us. From the ancient times to the present, God remains the same yet changed. Love 